In this Scratch video, we're going to look at um, inputs and storing inputs in variables and then putting them on the output screen. And all that means, in this case, we're going to get Scratch to ask you what your name is. We're going to have the computer remember your name and then get Scratch to say, hello, in my case, hello, Jonathan. So let's begin. So we'd start with our event data so we know when we click the green flag the uh, computer will run through the code and we will use our clear command just to be tidy on the screen and so our first input command is found in sensing so we're going to have scratch ask me what's my name and wait because it's actually what's my name already now we could then just go and use the say command with this answer and then it will just simply say um, hello Jonathan but if we store the name as data we can then call on it later in the program which is useful in programming so I'm going to make a variable and I'm going to call it name I'm just going to uncheck this because we don't want this appearing on our output screen so I'm going to use this set command with the answer button. So I'll put the answer in there. So this is going to take the answer to this question which we type in and store it in this container called name. So anytime we use name it will remember that it's your name from this answer because this answer came after this question. So we could go up here and we could have scratch say hello and your name. So we do have a tool for that. We have this join command. So we can just fix this to hello in a space. And then we're going to go back to data, put name in here, and we make this three seconds. And so what Scratch is going to ask you your name and wait for you to put your input in. Your input is going to get stored in name. And then Scratch is going to say hello in your name. So let's see what that looks like. put my name in. Hello again. Okay. So let's get Scratch to ask another question. So I'm going to go back to sensing. Let's get him to ask me what my age is. And again we're going to wait. We're going to wait for the input. So we're going to make a new variable called age. Click OK and uncheck. And again I want to the answer to that question to the variable age. And let's have Scratch say we'll get him to say wow Jonathan you, you can't be. So here we are again. Go back to our join command because remember we're joining plain text with the variables. So let's have wow Space, and we'll get him to say Jonathan. Wow, well, Jonathan. And then let's go back to our join command. Let's put a space. You can't. And you can't be. Let's put our age in there. And then we need to join these two statements together back to my join command and put this in here. So when we run this we're going to clear the screen. Scratch is going to ask me what my name is and wait for me to type it in. He's going to put my name into the variable answer into the variable name and he's going to say hello Jonathan in this case. Then he's going to ask me my age and wait for me to type it in and he's going to store my age in the variable age. And so now I'm going to call on my name and then my age. Let's see what that looks like. Hello, Jonathan. I am 44. And there you have it. 